Hello, big cats. Welcome back to Sons of the Forest. Now, today we are going to be getting the shovel, and believe it or not, I I played this game in my off time all day yesterday, and I found out a lot of things about the game. For starters, the shovel is actually one of the most complicated things you can possibly get in this game. So when I said I'll find the shovel on my own without looking it up, yeah, that that was never going to happen. As for the caves, they're pretty cool. Um, I've only been in three of them, and yeah, I forgot this was here. Okay, that's cool. Oh, hey, lady. Uh, my wife's back. Hello, Jennifer. I'm gonna call her Jennifer. Her name's Jennifer now. Hey, Jenny. How you doing, queen? Okay, I see her boobs. Wait, are those boobs? I can see it. I can see- I can see her boobs, okay? It's not weird. I can actually see them. So, well, Jennifer's running away from me, again, because she has a restraining order on me. Pretty cool stuff. In order to get the shovel, I need two things. I need the rebreather, and I need a new item called the rope gun. Whatever that means, I have no idea. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go in that cave again, because believe it or not, the rebreather is in that cave. And the only thing that does suck, so these are my saves from yesterday. I found the shotgun, by the way, really overpowered. But in order to get the shotgun, the other stuff as well, you need a lot of other things, like the shovel. The shovel is a big one. Oh, the one I can get, like, pretty early on, uh, I might go get it, like, when I'm going to get the rope gun. I don't have anything in here. I need more water. I need to go get more water. One thing I might go get, uh, it's, th there are no sharks in the water, at least as far as I'm aware. Like, in that one purple thing in the middle of the ocean for some reason. Don't know why. I feel like it's a great area to put sharks in. Maybe they thought it was too hard or too complicated. Because it is quite a long swim. So, I'm gonna go do that. Uh, probably when I go get the rope gun. Because, as I was saying, that cave is closer to that area. So, I'm gonna go get the, the pistol over there. The only thing is, I, I haven't used the pistol yet. And, personally, I don't think it's... It, it can't be that good a, as the shotgun because the shotgun is literally like a one hit to pretty much anything a another thing that i i didn't know was super overpowered but it actually is because you can pick up the the ammo for it, it it's the crossbow the crossbow is stupid it's a two sh it's a two shot i was gonna take say two shit but that doesn't make sense yeah it, it, it's generally like a two shot for most things in the game maybe like a three shot it, it took out one of the mutants the the one that we already killed in the playthrough uh, it killed that thing in literally two hits so that was interesting or i think it was three i'm pretty sure it was three i lied so that is broken and on top of that you can pick up the cross bolts the, cr the cross i don't know what they're called you know what i mean you can pick up the ammo after you kill them so unlike the other two, like with the shotgun and the pistol, you have unlimited ammo right off the bat. Now, I believe you can craft ammo with the 3D printer, or at least one of them in the map. I don't know which one it is, though. So yeah, I'm also going to... What should I have? I'm going to I'm gonna have the axe out, just in case, because I, I'm going to try running by literally everything. Because if I don't run by everything, or if I don't run by some things, like in the caves, it's just going to take hours and hours on end. And I'm not looking forward to that. They do respawn, I learned in the caves because uh yesterday when i was just kind of exploring and finding the shovel yeah i went back in this cave for the rebreather and all the enemies were respawned and actually there were more mutants like the big boy mutants than there were before so i'm not looking forward to that but what i'm going to do i'm going to go save the game like a boss which one is it? this one okay i don't, I don't want to ruin the other saves because like one's like for really really experimentation another thing i found out is the tarp you can place it in the caves therefore allowing you to save anywhere and anytime you want which is kind of stupid and broken i'm actually going to be using that not in this one but in a different one so we're going to go from there now you might be wondering why i'm choosing to literally run by everything in my path um to be honest with you i don't know all i remember is when i actually played through the first game alone uh, that was a big thing that i did i i literally just ran through a bunch of things you can run by a lot of things in this game uh, if it's anything like the first game again this is the second gun second second game oh my english is difficult jesus mary and joseph also i feel like i should mention i'm still sick so i'm not i'm not too proud of that but you know it is what it is okay so i want a head start they're gonna be over here yeah look at them yeah there's two of those little guys just run by them they still follow me oh yeah okay so yeah it, it seems to be just like the first game which is cool the only thing is, is that you kind of need to know where you're going and I really don't know where I'm going. So yeah, you can really just run by a lot of these guys. Really easy game, honestly. And to be honest with you, the reason why I don't want to kill them, it's not that I can't kill them. I killed them all in the other playthrough. And by God, I have a lot of creepy armor. But yeah. Oh, there's the shark. Okay, I couldn't find him. But yeah, here's the rebreather. Oh, there it is. Okay. Ooh. The game's kind of kind of glitchy, if I'm going to be totally honest with you. But yeah, no, the reason I want to run by all these guys is because the first time I did it, like, it literally took me all day to do it. Like, to kill them and 
to make sure there's no enemies, and I don't want to do that. Like, I don't have all the time in the world. Also, I don't want this to be, like, a super, super long video, because I know, like, just distance and traveling and everything and waiting, it's going to take a while. So now what we're going to go do... Actually, I'm going to hold off on saying this until you get out of the cave. Oh, oh, they did follow me. Oh, no. Okay, so it is a little different, but it seems like... Like, the good thing about them not being, like, super big, like they were in the first one... Oh, okay, yeah, he, he is charging at me, which is not good. Hey, buddy, there's going to be another one over here. Oh, is he throwing up? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just gonna keep running. Keep running. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, I think I'm safe because I don't think they can go in the water, like deep water like that. But I'm not gonna take my chances. I'm just gonna keep walking. Keep running. Keep walking. What the fuck was that? Okay, I think I'm safe over here because they can't crouch. Actually, you know what? They can run on all fours, except for those one guys that don't have hands for some reason. All right, there we go. We are outside now. And now I'm going to explain to you what I'm going to go and do next. I'm going to go get the pistol, which I don't know how good it is. And I don't know if I'm even going to use it, but we have the rebreather now, so we can go get the rope gun. The only problem with the rope gun is that the cave is... It's a long cave. Oh, the lady's still there. That's cool. Like, yeah, look at that. Like, I'm on day four. I have the rebreather already. It took me day 11 to finally get all this stuff. Like... It was like day 10 or day 9 when I finally like got out of the cave for the first time. I don't know. It was weird. An another thing, the reason why I don't want to take my time and kill them is because of these right here. I want to save my explosives and everything because I don't have a whole lot of explosives. And I want to keep them as long as possible because they are pretty good. Especially against the mutants. Like if I need to, I can use them. The only problem is, is that when I was actually taking my time and killing them, I all the time, I think except for like one cannibal or one mutant i i only killed one with the axe alone all the other ones were explosion molotov cheap gimmick it was really really stupid and the only problem with that is is that that's just how it is unfortunately i mean the way you did it in the first game was with the flare gun because the flare gun was amazing i don't know if it's in this game i'm kind of hoping it is i don't think it is but i don't know i mean don't get me wrong the other guns seem pretty well as like they're pretty good but the flare gun was like the og you know so now what we are going to do we are going to simply head up the river because this actually i believe leads to the other side of the, the other beach to the other half to the other side of the island is this a camp i think this is a camp no it's just it's just a weird looking rock thing okay it's not even a rock thing it's literally just a tree say it say it how it is michael say it how it is the only thing is like i do kind of want to conserve my stamina because I can get ambushed any second by like those little creepy crawly things, you know, like the, the jumping jacks. I, I don't want to mess with those things. Oh, I thought that was one of them. It was just a squirrel, but you can never be too sure. Last time I thought one was an animal, it w ended up being a whole tribe of them. Okay, so here's the camp. Hello. Shalom, my neighbor. See you later, alligator. Okay, so this is the same area. I just got to run by these guys. I don't want to mess with them. I don't want to mess with them. Don't mess with them. They won't mess with you, okay? I don't think Kevin came with us, which is a little quirky, but I'm okay with him not coming with us. I, I don't want to lose him. I heard that he can get glitched out of the game. Um, I heard you can also kill him, but I don't, I don't know. I just heard that on the street. You know, I don't think you can actually kill him. I don't think they're following me anymore, but I'm still gonna, I'm gonna keep running. Yeah, I learned that running was a good idea, just in general. I don't know. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this. Just ignore me. Oh, look, a deer. It, yeah, as I was saying, like, last time I thought I was... I thought something was an animal. It ended up being one of seven cannibals chasing me. And I didn't know it at the time, but in the when i was watching the video like it was, i think it was the second one when i was watching it in the moment where i said this wasn't a deer it clearly wasn't a deer but in the playthrough i thought it was a deer i was so very 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 wrong i don't think i'm going the right way i don't know why i think that but so as of right now what i plan on doing i plan on just making like um some videos that like i i, I think I'm, I'm definitely gonna make this a video clearly because I'm recording it. But a big reason or a big factor that I'm going to be saying this is because I don't know if this game has an ending yet. Just because this game is in early access, like I'm sure you can tell like the frames are a little stuttery and I don't know, I killed Kevin. I don't know why I said that, but you know what I mean. Actually, you don't know what I mean. What I'm saying is that there are some things that are clearly bugs like for example, the fire always staying on. I don't know what that's about, but the fire just never goes out in this game for some reason. Where is the beach at? Oh, it's over here. Okay, I'm coming up on it. What was that? Oh, it's raining. Oh, it's thunderstorming, I think. This is great. I oh, hear one. Yeah, but yeah, as I was saying, like there are just some bugs in this game that are clearly bugs. Um, I, I don't know how to explain it. There's a camp right here. I'm running straight into a camp. Oh, hey guys. Um, I'm just, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this, man. You don't have to do this. I don't know where he's at, but I'm going to keep running because they can cut me off. I don't, I don't feel confident in that at all. Also, I feel like I should mention this. I'm still sick. Um, I can kind of start feeling it a little bit. I was feeling good at the beginning of this and now not so much. 
So, yeah, that's just uh, how my life is right now. Yeah, well, one of the most overpowered things in the forest is just running away. I mean, obviously, you need to be keeping an eye on, I don't know, your food your water all just the basic stuff of life you know like make sure you're not hungry make sure you're not thirsty you know you don't want to be dying of that stuff oh i didn't have the thing here well this is awkward okay well to save time i'm just gonna put a tarp up do i have a tarp i have a tarp all right so i'm gonna save the game and now i'm gonna go grab the handgun because honestly i don't know if there are sharks out here when i did it originally it was winter so i don't know if sharks are gone or here or you know what i mean i don't know if they were awake during the winter time and i know it sounds weird but everything got cummed on okay needless to say why why does the rebreather not auto equipped i don't get it what does that sound i do want to say i found a glitch with the rebreather where you don't swim and you're actually walking along the floor for some reason don't know what that's about oh i'm almost out of stamina i don't want to don't want to do that to myself oh no 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 wait hold on maybe it was just a whale it wasn't a whale it was not a whale it was not a whale oh well if i die i die i saved it's fine i got the gun okay okay that was a lot scarier than the first time i've been through this but i got a i got a pistol how much ammo do i have i don't have a whole lot i have i have 11. there we go okay so i'm gonna be definitely using this in the cave for the rope gun so the only thing is that sucks about the guns is that you can't block with them so that's pretty quirky but you know it is what it is yeah they have to balance them out somehow because they are pretty overpowered at least the other two are i haven't tried the pistol yet so don't know how this works or if it's even good i'm assuming it's good but i don't know i mean it's a usp how good can it be i mean it, i don't know i don't know we're, we're, we're gonna try it out hopefully I, i'm assuming the headshot will just one hit them but i could be wrong i could be so very wrong okay so now what we're gonna do how long has this video been i've been recording for about 28 minutes now i want to record for another 30 I, I save the game and now what you can do is you can do this in caves too you can recollect the tarp and the stick and just move on with your life it's it's stupid it's broken i know if i remember correctly i have to go over that way we're gonna build something that's what we're gonna do okay we built a little hut uh, the problem is with building that i don't really like I, I don't like how easy it is or like not how easy it is uh, how boring it can be and that's why i don't like recording or I don't know. I don't focus on building. I mean, I like building. Don't get me wrong. It's really cool. You get to make your own stuff. I really enjoy that. But recording it and I, I don't know. I don't know. It just seems really boring to watch. Unless if it's like a how-to video. I understand that. Where's furniture? I just skip furniture. I want to build a little bench. I want to test something out too. I think I found an infinite log glitch. Can I take that apart? I can't take it apart. Oh, damn. Is that Kevin? Kevin followed me all the way over here. Are you kidding me, boy? Boy. 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 Oh my god. You know what? Hold on. Now is a good time, more than any, to test out a little weapon that I found recently. Hey, Kevin. Look, I trick shot him. Well, it works. Needless to say, the, the pistol's pretty good. I know I just used it on Kevin, but it works, and it seems the hip fire is pretty good. I just trick shot him. Pretty good. Feels pretty good. Ah. Oh. Oh, hey, Kevin. I just had a really, really weird dream. Oh, oh, you don't want to get shot. I want to tell him to stay here. Stay hidden? What? It's a little quirky. Oh, my wife is here. Hello. Oh, she's sitting down. No, no, no. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You can't run away from me. I'm, I won't do that to her. I won't do that to her. She seems nice. I'm like Kevin over here. You know, I feel like I can fuck with him. He's one of my buds. What if I... What if I just hold on to it? We'll just blow up. No? Can I cancel it? Oh, I can cancel it. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to simply end the video here because I know the sun's going to be up for another 15 minutes. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to start a new video and I'm going to go over to that cave and get the... Sh the not the shot gun whatever it's called the the rope gun the rope gun the rope gun i need the rope gun i don't know why i need it but i need it so yeah me and my boy kevin i definitely didn't shoot him in the face i didn't blast him with a barrel of cum that would just be weird they're just two homies making out at the middle of the night anyway next time the Rock Club, we're gonna be getting rope and a gun